Hey there, it's Scott with InsideTheCurve.com Back with another Fusion 360 for woodworking uh, video. Today we're going to be going over how to make a mortise and an tenon. Now I'm sure there's a few different ways to accomplish this, but I'm going to show you how I would do it. And if you have an easier way or a better way, I would love to learn. And comment below and I will make a video about it, how you are explaining how to do it. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a sketch like everything else we do in Fusion. Create that on the top plane. R for rectangle. I'm going to throw a one dimension on here. We're going to make a 2x2. Two two. Uh, we'll say a leg pole for a dining table or something. So 2 inch. We're going to use our uh, one of our constraints. The uh, where's that? equal. So this is going to be equal to this. So now we got a two by two square. We can see it's fully defined. It's in black. Okay. Now we're going to extrude this out into a new component. We'll make it 36 inches high. We'll give this a name just for fun. We will call it left leg left leg is complete. So now we have a 2x2 two two, too far 2x2 two by, two by 36 inch uh, dining table whatever leg post. So now let's create the stretcher. Make this again on the top plane Okay. R for rectangle again. We'll make this two inches wide. Two. Make it ten inches long. Okay. And you can see it's blue. And the reason it's blue and not fully defined is because we don't have it locked down to a uh, a home. But we can't change the the width of the of the uh, sketch because that's been defined. It's the home in, in space. I guess you could say it hasn't been defined. But we will s soon have that. So we're going to E for extrude again. Actually, I'll move this back. Okay. E for extrude. We're going to go up two inches again so you have our same two by two little square. Alright, alright. Now I want to turn left leg off. Actually, first I'm going to show you how to convert. Uh, see, I'm going to extrude that. I made it a body, it's in a component. But I'd rather convert that into a, a, a component. That way we can make things a little cleaner. So you can right click on body, right click on body, create body from components, and I have another component, we'll call that uh, uh, stretcher, I'm not sure I spelled that wrong. Uh, now we're going to turn the uh, left leg off, because I want to put my tenon on here. So to do that, we want to create I actually want to hit offset, offset, select curves, select the outer curve, let's make it go to it in, half inch, so 0.5, okay, E for extrude, because I want to cut this back, select that, go over here to operation, we want to cut, maybe we want to remove material, okay, Oop. get the right thing selected here, Minus, let's go, uh, let's say an inch. Oop, not point 0.1, minus 1. Okay. I'm 
turn the left leg back on. Now what I want to do is I want to move I want to move this up. See we're all we're all on the same bottom. We're on the bottom origin there. But I want to move this up. So let's just use the uh, the move tool. So M for move. So go over here. And let's say I just want to go straight up uh, four inches. Okay. Now let's get this part cut into there. Our mortise. So to do that easy, we can use the project tool, which will project this geometry here. Turn off the stretcher or left leg. Just like that. Okay. Turn left leg back on. E for extrude, select it, I select uh, start from object, so I want to select this object here, and I want to go, I want to cut, and I want to make this go in, we made that an inch. So we'll go one inch. Now we have our mortise put in there. And now to get that to lot, go in there, we're going to use the shortcut key to bring up the, uh, I forget the name of this is, the shortcut model shortcuts. So S for that, A to bring up a line. Uh, I want to select center point there what I can do now so I can see in there a little easier because you can kind of see it's kind of hard to see we'll just turn the stretcher off now we can easily or easierly select it okay turn that off And now you can see we have made a mortise and a tendon. So just like that, folks, you can create a mortise and tendon. Uh, once you have that first geometry cut or made there, we've been able to uh, draw a construction line and uh, select mirror and put the same on the other end. And then it'd been a lot easier to make the other one over here with the leg right here. We could copy the leg. So once you have the first, the initial uh, tendon cut, it's pretty fast after that. I'm not sure how long that took to do all that, but I don't think it was, it was probably three to four minutes and I was going a little bit slower uh, trying to record everything and spit everything out. So, well that's it for this video. I uh, hope you're enjoying this Fusion 360 for woodworking series so far. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep the videos going. And thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next one.